Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Military Mondays. For those who do not know who I am, I am retired Major Brenda Sanchez, and I am the co-author of the best-selling book, Life's Real Currency, with my husband, Michael Sanchez. Um, if you have served in the military, I would love to know a little bit more about you, so please put where you're watching from and tell me your military background or if you have family that served in the military, I would like to know that too because I like to recognize my fellow veterans. So today I have the honor and privilege of interviewing Ryan Van Ornum. He is an Air Force veteran and he is the leader of the pack, of the wolf pack at Van, or Van Ornum Home Teams, I'll say, say that three times fast, <laughs> at Keller Williams Partners. And Ryan and I met almost four years ago, mm -hmm. three years ago yeah, or three, so, three years, yeah. um, at a veterans networking group. So networking groups work, people. <laughs> so if you are a veteran and you are looking to start your own business or you have already started your business, please, if you're not here in Colorado Springs, look to your local community, to the veteran groups, because there are veteran groups out there. And if you're here in Colorado Springs, look Ryan or myself up and we can plug you into the veteran networking groups here in town. So Ryan, um, tell me about your background in the Air Force and what got you started in real estate? And tell me a little bit about your journey and what makes you successful as a real estate agent based on your military experience. Well, first of all, thank you for letting me be a part of this today. Uh, this is an absolute privilege to be a part of uh, um, your your web show here. Um, I was I was combat communications, so I set up uh, satellites and phones and internet and all of that stuff uh, back in the day, um, 2001 to 2005. And um, I, one of the things that I really got from it was that it's it taught me perseverance, it taught me determination, it taught me, uh, you know, staying staying the course, and then it really taught me honestly with with communications and calm taught me how to network <laughs> because like if CE needed something, I, you know, ran over there and got their, their stuff fixed. But if, uh, you know, if, you know, um, for support needed something, we, everybody had a help helping hand in it. And that's what, that's, what's really brought it to my business this way is being able to go out there and really help other people's businesses grow. Mm -hmm. And, um, so we were talking before the live and uh, it, Ryan is just, so I have a question for you because I just, sure. I guess I just realized, I knew this before, but 2005 you got out of the service, but you didn't start in real estate in two, until 2014, 15? What was it? 16. Yeah. So what'd you do in between? So I was a teacher for a while. So I, um. I, I went back to school, got my bachelor's and master's degree in exercise science and education. I was a teacher for about five, six years. Um, that uh, bureaucracy didn't didn't fit well <laughs> with me. And then I went to the DOD, went to that bureaucracy. That worked out real well. <laughs> honestly, no, it, it, was, it was a good time no matter where I went. But uh, honestly, I wanted a little bit more autonomy and I wanted to start my own business. And that's what I've done. And I'm very proud of how far we've came in such a short time. Yeah, your first year, what, 14 closings last mm -hmm. year, 30, 31, 31, and this year already 38, yeah, is that 38. what I heard you say? Yep. So he's kicking butt and taking names, so if you are in the real estate space or interested in being in the real estate space, um, definitely reach out to Ryan because he can help you um, grow your business. He's an amazing connector here in town. Um, all about promoting other businesses and other people here in town. So what would you recommend or what words of wisdom could you give somebody that's either currently serving or is on their way out of the service or maybe just retired or separated uh, that might be thinking about starting their own business? I, I would say that, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. So when I started my business, um, back in 16 early 17 uh, I didn't have I didn't have any closings 
for the first seven months. So with um, m- me and my better half, I, we have seven kids together. So that was <laughs> you got your hands full. That was a that was a lot to take in, but you know, perseverance. You know, like I said, when when you're going through basic training and and you're and you're low crawling through the mud to make sure that. <laughs> You know, you you get that that coin and you and you you graduate. It teaches you that, you know, I'm never gonna give up on something if you believe in it. And that's that's really what my passion is. If I'm gonna help people, I'm gonna continue to do it every day as hard as and as much as I possibly can. And that that's served me well because that's what's catapulted the business. Because if you're consistent with that and people see that you're genuine and consistent, uh, you know, your business will grow. Absolutely. And um, I'm trying to remember the quote. What was the quote we talked about before the video? So the quote that I was, I was, uh, I, I live my life by right now is what you focus on expands. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> um, and we were talking about, you know, if you focus on negative, many people getting out of the service, focus on the negative and what am I going to do next? And, you know, it's all Debbie Downer, uh, you know, it's, it's, concerned about the future instead of looking at the future as a bright um, new possibility and and embracing the positive about this part of your life and um, as many of you know online I teach relationship marketing and what you give out comes back tenfold so just remember that in life everything personal and professional life what you're giving out what your energy is that you're giving out comes back tenfold. So what energy are you giving out? So with all the stuff that we've done in the past, whether it's our events that we do or um, just trying to help other businesses succeed, you know, if you give that, it'll come back to you exponentially. And life is not about money, but it certainly helps, you know, right. kind of quell <laughs> some of those those stressful situations. It, it, it pays the bills and the things that are necessary right. in life. But... I, I, I remember... Um, Last August, I made more in last August than I did in any year before that in my life. So, you know, definitely. And all the people that I work with, you know, all the tradesmen and all of those things, we send business and we make their lives better, too. So if if you are a veteran out there and you run your own business, I would love to talk to you and see how we can build each other's businesses going into the next uh, next year and the next decade, 2020 clear vision going forward, right? Yeah. Ryan's really great at that. The other thing we talked about is dreams. And um, in the military, you were talking about, you know, we learn to come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. Um, And when you, dreams can't become reality unless you take action on them. Right. And so put a plan together and reach out to people around you that can help you to fulfill those dreams or at least build you up. So I am I know Ryan is too a big proponent of hang around with people more successful than you are. Most definitely. And guess what? You'll become successful too. So any last words that you want to share with the audience? Just, just you know, set those dreams big. Hold yourself accountable or find somebody that can be an accountability partner for you and just take it as far as you can and stay positive the whole way through. There's going to be setbacks, but you know what? You're worth it to yourself if if that's where you want to be. Just keep pushing and keep grinding and you'll find a way to make it work as long as you have that determination. Most of us, you know, that we're, we're all hoo from back in the <laughs> Army or the Air Force. I know it. So you can make it happen. And if you need help... Let me know because I'll help you set those goals and I'll be your accountability partner if you need it. Yeah, awesome. And and you'd want this guy as your accountability partner because, I mean, look at look at what he's done in the last few years. It's amazing. Uh, super excited that I got to spend some time with him this morning and let you all get to know Ryan, um, my network, get to know him. If Again, if you're interested in selling or buying your a home or if you're thinking about going into real estate and you want to partner with a really successful team, I really suggest that you reach out to Ryan and his team and they can set you on a path to success. So, and one other thing on that, if you, if you ever have thought about, Hey, I want to invest in real estate, but I don't have that huge cash 
capital. We have investment groups that can help you with that, whether it's um, you know property management or a property that we're going to manage, or uh, that we have builders that need capital and we can help get a solid return on that as well, tax-free on a lot of it in, in those awesome. cases as well. So lots of opportunities for you. you just gotta think outside the box and we're here to help you think that way. Awesome. Well, thanks everyone for joining us on Military Mondays. If you would like to know about past shows or upcoming shows, interviews that I'm going to do, um, I recommend you go to militarymondays.info and connect with me there. And that way I can stay in touch and get to know you better and keep you informed of the different things that I'm doing on Military Mondays. So with that, I look forward to seeing everyone next Monday on Military Mondays and have an absolutely happy Thanksgiving week and we will see you next Monday. Bye everyone.